Your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In nomine Patris et Filius Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi et Caritas Dei, et Communicatio Sancti Spiritus Sitcom, Omnibus vobis. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Oremus. O oh God, who in the basement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faith with holy joy. For on those you have received from slavery to sin, you bestowed eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me one up. Uh, set me on my feet, and I heard the one speaking say to me, Son of man, I'm sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom, are they to whom I'm sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, they, shall, they are a rebellious house. They know that the prophet has been among them, verbum domini. Our eyes are filled on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. To you I lift up my eyes, who enthroned in heaven, as the eyes of servants are in the hands of their masters. As the eyes of a maid are the hands of her mistress, so are the eyes of the Lord our God, till he has pity on us. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us. For we are more than sated with contempt. Our souls are more than sated with the mockery, the arrogant, the contempt of the proud. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. A reading, uh, brethren, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelation. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might, not, that it might lead me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I would rather boast more gladly of my weaknesses in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. When I am weak, then I am strong. 
Verbum Domini. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominos for Biscum. Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Markham. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue. Many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Josie, uh, Joseph and, and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and his own house. So he's not able to perform any mighty deeds there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, how are these readings not apropos to what is going on in the church today with the excommunication of uh, Carlo, uh, 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 Carlo Maria Vigoro? Right. I mean, now, uh, and of course, the 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 tools of Satan, those who are schism and schism schismatics who follow people like Vigano, right, off into the wilderness, off the Vigano cliff. Right. You pay heed. Pay heed right now. This reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Vigano is not Ezekiel. Vigano is the rebellious people. He is in schism. The authority of Christ on earth is his church. And his church has deemed Vigano in schism. Look it. Look it. You, you want to talk about Protestantism all over again? You have the SSPX who are in some lack, lack of communion. I'll just say lack of communion. I'm not sure whether there's schism. I, I get so confused over the situation with the SSPX. Right? Some things are okay, other things aren't okay. But they're not in full communion with the church. And yet they reject Vigano. Vigano has put himself under the mantle of Bishop Williamson, who the SSPX has rejected, has thrown out, is too extreme. But you Catholics are going to stand up, stand with Vigano, John Henry Weston, you're going to stand with Vigano, who even the SSPX wants nothing to do with. You're going to stand with Vigano, who hugs Williamson? The SSPX has the, who are you? You know nothing. You are in the dark. All over social media, I stand with Vigano, I stand with Vigano. Listen to what Jesus has to say. He was unable to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying hands on He was amazed at their lack of faith. You people claim to have faith? Faith in what? Faith in Jesus Christ? If you had faith in Jesus Christ, then you would abide by the authority on earth, the church. Holy Mother Church. But yet you stand with Johnny come latelys like Taylor Marshall, who for years was was completely in the dark buy into the, the Episcopalian Christianity? Are you kidding me? I mean that proves that, that he was clueless, that he is clueless. 
Then he becomes an Episcopalian priest. Why? As a stepping stone to become Catholic so he could infiltrate the church, undermine the church, undermine the papacy. Be gone, Satan. Be gone. Taylor Marshall is a liar, an admitted liar. He is undermining the church, and just because he says that he no longer agrees with schismatic Vigano, well, you are propping him up. You're responsible for him now, and now what? You won't even formally renounce him? Say the words, I renounce Carlo Vigano and all he stands for. Say that, Taylor Marshall. Say that, John Henry Weston. John Henry Weston may be the worst. The biggest following, international following, and he mixes lies with the truth because he'll preach the truth about pro-life and everybody gathers around his original charism of being a pro-life media. And once he gathers them in, he corrupts them, undermines the church. Get behind me, Satan. You stand with Vigano. You put out a petition. Vigano in January. After, after rejecting the legitimacy of the Pope. And this is over years. After rejecting the legitimacy of the Pope. After rejecting the Second Vatican Council and the ordinary form of the Mass. A valid Mass. He starts his own seminary so he can ordain his own priest. All schismatic acts. Gets reconsecrated by, by a Bishop Williamson, a schismatic who not even the SSPX will accept. And you people are standing with this guy? Self-serving, self-induced exile. So he can claim martyrdom, so he can claim, woe is me, the victimhood of Carlo Maria Vigano. He loves it. He loves the attention like the evil one loves attention. He wants attention. He wants your soul. So after doing all those schismatic acts, what does he do? He calls for the arrest of the Pope and tells Catholics to take sides. Well, you folks are taking sides. John Henry Weston and the rest of you standing with big enough. You're risking your salvation. You're tossing it all away. So who's right? The SSPX? The resistance? Vigano? Who's right? They're all right? Everybody but Holy Mother Church is right? Boy, you sound like Protestants. Who was right? Was Luther right? Was Calvin right? Was Zwingli right? Was Henry VIII right? Fifteen years after Luther nailed the thesis to Wittenberg... There was four major schisms even in Christianity because they're clueless, because they're in the dark, because they're in Satan. And so are those who go with Vigano. Vigano is a tool of Satan. I'm not Ezekiel by any means. For a couple of moments, I will preach what the Lord told Ezekiel to preach. I'm sending you to my people, rebels who have rebelled against me. They've revolted against me this very day, hard of face and obstinate of heart. I am sending you to them. Say to them, thus says the Lord, whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house. They shall know that a prophet has been among them, and it's not big enough. Let us pray for them right now. Let us pray for Carlo Maria Vigano and all those who follow him, and all those who put themselves outside the authority of Holy Mother Church, Christ's authority on earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit we incarnate, and, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now I ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs for the Catholic Church, the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, for our seminary and studying for the priesthood, for those discerning religious life for mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, and everyone in their vocation. They desire to do all things in humble obedience for the praise, honor, and glory of God and atonement and reparation for our sins and charity and chastity in our vocations, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, Eucharistic unity amongst all Christians, the conversion of the world, the conversion of nations, conversion of political leaders, conversions necessary within the hierarchy of the church, conversions necessary in our families and our own daily personal conversions. For anyone that we wound or led astray in our lives, for anyone that's wounded us, that we be reconciled with everyone the end of all the vicious attacks against life, marriage, and family, and for the least of Christ, brethren, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned, for all those suffering any trial or tribulation, whether it be physical or spiritual, they may find comfort in Jesus. As we reach out to them in spiritual and corporal works of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And for the particular intentions of this Mass, the repose of the soul of Archbishop Michael Sheehan, Repose of the soul of John and Barado, all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members, the intentions of all those watching this Mass, attending this Mass, the intentions of all those who we said we were to pray for, including those who may forget to pray for, our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial, vocational, and professional intentions, the intentions of all those who Pray for us, encourage us, support us each day. And for those uh, who, family members and loved ones who are away from the church, that they may embrace Christ's sacraments of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And we ask for this, we ask for all good things through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels, martyrs, and saints. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received. The bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, tree of goodness, ever receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, to God, the Almighty Father. May this, uh, may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. 
Dominos Rubiscum, Sorsum Corda, Gracias Aguas Domino Deo Nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of the times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made. Forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly, for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, govern her throughout the whole world. Together we your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise that they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in the hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ and Saint Ch Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers and all things may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock, those of you, <coughs> those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fide. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion of resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer you to glorious majesty for the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance. And to accept them as one true please to accept the gifts of your servant, able to just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, the holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask, O Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us as the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace.
Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants and those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but grant your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Perpsum econ ipsa on ipsa, stevi deo patri omnipotenti in unitate spiritus sancti, ama sonor gloria pamnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and union in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino, sit semper fabiscum. On your stay. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all you are laboring and burdened. I will refresh you, says the Lord. O oh, Amos, grant we pray, O oh Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Dominos, Rubiscum, Benedica, Vos, Omnipotens, Deus, Pater, Filius, Spiritus, Sanctus, Ita, Misa, S. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. 
You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. All right, my brothers and sisters in Christ, Father Stephen and Broder, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Thank you for joining us, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Please share this video and share per group. Please go to Protest Child Killing, go to my YouTube channel, like my YouTube channel, subscribe, like the videos, uh, hit that little notification. Father Imbrado Live coming up very quickly. Stay with us. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Go out to the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.